friends, my name is Alex Grekis, and I want to welcome you to the Finding Lost Civilization series. Now, this series is dedicated to visiting ancient sites that time has long forgotten. Today, I'm at a place called Burham Canyon, and if you look over my shoulder, you'll be able to see a pictograph, which is a painting of a humanoid figure. I tell you, today is going to be a fascinating trek, and I invite you to come journey with me here at Burham Canyon. <laughs> thing about this site is not only do we have these fantastic pictographs we also have indications over here that this site was a habitation site in other words people lived here so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm turning around I'm showing you what the uh, boulder area looks like but I want to show you over here right down over here around the corner let's go there you can see a large mortar area okay so let's let's go there's another one right over here let's go down and and take a look so right over here you can see uh, there's a large granite boulder right here 
it's uh, at ground level but there you have right over here you can see a one two three and there's probably others buried here and here's what we call the the anvil okay this is where the seed is broken open and adjacent to this mortar area we have this large mortar area right here this is really beautiful but look at this over here right around the mortar we have these series of depressions that go around in a circular pattern uh, these are probably symbolic in nature as opposed to being used in the process of producing food over here these are known as cupules and they surround this individual mortar over here and let's take a look over here look there's one here right there there's one here there's one there there's one there yes and as I'm running my hand across this right here I can feel one here another one here another one here another one here right there uh, another small one here another one here and another one here so these are very slight indentation placed here they're symbolic in nature we don't know what their meanings are but they are definitely symbols left behind by the ancients this whole boulder as I'm running my hand across this smooth surface right here here is a cupule right here here's another cupule let me see let me keep running my hand oh here's one here another one there one here one there I tell you this rock here is covered with these symbolic carvings into the stones engravings you know petroglyphs here's another one right here uh, here's one right over here so this is a very beautiful stone that had uh, utility which is preparing food and also uh, a place with uh, what we would call uh, symbols so this is an area that has some symbology attached to it as I said the meaning has been lost in time but this is definitely a beautiful beautiful boulder here above those series of boulders is where we saw the magnificent pictograph panel but as my friend Joel and I walk down here in this area look what my friend Joel found right over here this is a beautiful find it's fantastic this is an ornament this is a bead okay you can see right over here where the top was drilled it was strung together okay as a necklace this is a trade item this is beautiful it came from the coastal area there's no seashells in this area this is truly a fantastic little find and again confirms that the ancients lived in this area Well, friends, directly ahead of us in the center, you can see the large boulder outcrop. This is where we saw the pictograph and the mortars. But if you come on down here in a straight line, look at this over here. Right over here is another large boulder with three mortars. But the ancients lived here for a reason. And right here to the right, you can see right now a dry stream bed. But uh, you know, at one time this was a lush, verdant area and the weather patterns were much more different and there was a lot of water to be had in this area. And as I've said many times before, water is a source of life. And most of these ancient village sites, these ceremonial sites, these sacred sites, they're located near water. <laughs> Well, friends, we're going to head directly to that site right over here. Uh, you see that uh, boulder that is kind of leaning towards that way, towards the east? That area supposedly uh, contains a, a marker. Some people believe it's a solstice marker. 
but that's facing east and possibly that's the exact location uh, further to the left right up here where the sun rises. Now if you look really close with the human eye I can see the moon right over there and uh, perhaps as the moon uh, goes over us the sun will rise right there directly where that cut in the uh, uh, side of the mountain is. But anyways for now let's let's go over to this boulder and uh, see what we can observe. Well as we're going towards this boulder area the first thing I noticed right here at our feet is a small mortar right over here okay so what I'm going to do is walk around to the front face of this boulder very unique oh look at this right over here look at this okay so we have this boulder over here which is shaped in a vertical position somewhat slanted but uh, look at this right over here okay what does that look like to you is that the Sun is that a falling star um, hard to say if you look at that image you can see that the left side of the image has short striations outside the circle whereas the ones to the right are longer and this to me somehow I would guess it had something to do with a star you know stars seem to have that type of pattern uh, perhaps a falling star anyways uh, look at this over here uh, here's another stone right here with some markings right over here but uh, can you see it <laughs> right over here well this is a an image made by modern man uh, left here for us uh, the artist was not half as good as the native that created the image right here in front of us this is really beautiful and this is what I meant over here look see how long this is and this is shorter but look at over here there's a a series of hash marks right over here okay very faded almost lost in time but we're going to use a process called de-stretch and we're going to be able to see what kind of image is uh, back there this is really beautiful and my guess or my wonder is if I come here at nighttime and I turn around I've got my back to the boulder this is the view I have directly to my front now a little to my right I can see the moon I don't know if you can see it with uh, the uh, your eye through the camera lens but I can see it over here so anyways this is the image directly in that area that this boulder is pointing to and right over here this here is east right here right over here friends I've had a wonderful time in Burham Canyon and I hope you've enjoyed this trek that we've taken together one thing I'd like to mention is that our journeys are about gathering knowledge and it's not about gathering artifacts so please respect these sites also I'd like to mention that you know these journeys are unscripted I don't have a, a support staff or a crew while I'm filming and at times I say things that are not accurate so keep that in mind anyways I hope that you continue trekking with me as we go. Try to seek further knowledge. Mm -hmm.